You just heard shots being fired into a house in Irvington, and those bullets flew through the home feet away from children. I mean, it's completely disrupted our life. It's, you know, stopped us from doing anything. This happened not once, not twice, but three times within the past month. And now this family says they're just too scared to even stay in their home. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beer Edmay. And I'm Dan Spieler. In these pictures, you can see the bullet holes left behind in that home. And tonight, Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton spoke with the homeowner who's terrified this could happen again. The front window is shattered. The basement window shot out. The Jeep and shed in the backyard, both pierced with bullet holes. Oh, it's terrifying. About a month ago, the gunfire started and it hasn't stopped. This was the first bullet that hit and went through Lance Huffman's Irvington home. On the other wall was my one-year-old daughter in a high chariot and popsicle at that level. Hoffman thought it was an accident or a stray bullet, but he quickly realized that wasn't the case when his home was shot at again, this time in between his daughter's bedrooms. After this second shooting, Hoffman knew he no longer wanted his family staying here. These are kids' lives. This is my life. This is my wife's life. A my third Jesus. shooting happened on Labor Day, just like the others in the middle of the afternoon. And that's the next one I noticed, which is right there. This time, the Huffmans weren't home, and this time, the shooter was caught on camera. You can see a white car pull up, followed by gunshots. Before that car speeds down Audubon Road. Oh, it's terrifying. I mean, because the shots are so far apart. It was very calculated. Huffman checked with his neighbors and tells us this same car matched the description in all the shootings. I'm mad, but mostly just scared, confused, really sad for my kids. He has no idea who would do this and why. Violence doesn't get anything done. If there's if there's a problem, I don't know what it could be if I cut you off in traffic or maybe I don't know. Hoffman's called this place home for six years, and now he doesn't feel safe here. After way too many close calls, he's looking to move. It's completely disrupted our life. It's, you know, stopped us from doing anything. In Irvington, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Huffman called police and filed reports after each incident, and he's handed over the surveillance video. If you know anything that could help detectives track down the shooter, please call Crime Stoppers. There's the number 317-262-TIPS.